So you're at the trailer lot trying to decide what kind of trailer to buy. And one of the features you have to consider is what type of axle lubrication you want to go with. What's the difference? Maybe one option is more expensive, the other is easier, or you have no clue altogether. Hi, I'm Kiefer, and this is All About Trailers. I'll give the answer right now. If you have a choice, you probably want to go with grease axles. But to tell you why, I'll need to explain the difference between oil bath and grease axles and give you a little history. Oil bath axles are just that. There's a bath of oil inside the axle itself that washes over the wheel bearings as you drive down the road. Oil bath axles have a cap on the end that contain oil that lubricates the wheel bearings. Maintenance is amazingly simple on these axles. Literally unscrew the cap and drain the oil out, put it back on, and then fill up the reservoir. This is probably the easier of the two types of axles to upkeep. And honestly, they work great. And it's very easy to change the oil, but the downsides can be horrendous. There's two big things we wanna watch out for with our oil bath axles. If your oil bath cap, the part of your axle where you can see how much oil is on the inside of your axle, breaks while driving, it can be very, very bad. Same if you blow out one of the seals, which we all know oil is flammable and when you introduce friction, the heat can actually ignite the oil from your axle. Plus that oil gets all over the place, expanding the area that is now flammable. Secondly, not to mention if it breaks and you're hauling something, you're stuck until it is fixed. There is no wiggle room or grace period before things get damaged. If you have an oil bath axle, it would be a good idea to keep oil bath caps and some oil on hand just in case you break one of these caps and you're not stuck. So if you guess that grease axles don't have this problem, you're right. If your grease cap gets broken or the seal is damaged, your grease doesn't leak out. Worst case scenario, you get some water or dirt in them, but you have ample time to fix it before something in your axle gets damaged. Maintenance can be one of the downsides to this type of axle. If you have an older style grease axle, you have to break down your hub and get to the spindle itself to properly change the grease. It's not that hard, especially after doing it a few times, but it is time consuming. You only have to do this once or twice a year, unless you broke your Zerk fitting or lost the cap to it, and now you have some trash or gunk in the grease. But overall, it's only a once or a twice a year thing. If you have one of the newer grease axles with the easy lube or direct lube technology, this maintenance is actually a piece of cake. You simply pop out the center rubber plug, put the grease gun on the Zerk fitting, and fill it with grease until the cavity is full. Replace the rubber plug and you're good to go. Another minor downside to the grease axle can be that if you live in extreme climates, it takes a little longer for the grease to warm up during freezing temperatures. In the past, grease just wasn't as good at preventing wear and tear and keeping the grit out of the axle. But now it is the go-to for most haulers. In the past, oil bath was the type to go with because it was better at lubrication than grease was. And with recent advancements in this technology with the grease axles, there have been improvements making it the go-to choice for most. But why one over the other? The question is really about safety and repairs. Both types of axles work great for what they're made to do but the differences are night and day if you have a problem on the road. The grease axles aren't flammable. They won't leave you high and dry if the seal breaks. And with recent advancements in this technology, it is the go-to for most haulers and trailer manufacturers to put into their trailers. So in my opinion, if at all possible, go with a grease axle. Less chance for trouble, and you're not gonna be left high and dry waiting on parts slash repairs and on the plus side, you don't have to run the risk in a worst case scenario of a potential axle fire. Hey, if you like this video, let us know. Hit the like button down below, smash the subscribe button, and in case you missed a, a video that we dropped about pre-trip inspection, go watch that one. We'll see you in the next video.